Good day, good day. How the hook are ya? Welcome to Roverland. Yes, this is your friend Dano. And have I got something for you today, huh? Yeah, we're taking a look at uh, some different models today at Discovery on Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything about Land Rover. Hopefully you're doing well. And as always, keep calm and carry on. Yeah, that's our motto for these trying days here. All right, hey, let's take a look here. Have you ever seen such a beautiful thing as this? Wow, this is nice. And guess what? I have a couple of them, yes. Well, let's take a look and see what we got. Do you, do you recognize it? Do you know what it is? Ba-bam! I got it right side up too. All right, so this is made in China, number 61054, police patrol. I don't know how you get that out of that, but hey, look at there. <laughs> I don't remember where I bought these. I did buy one for sure in the, in the wild. Matter of fact, I think I bought all these in person in the wild. Uh, so I don't know anything about them. They're uh, got some details on the bottom. Not really too accurate for Land Rover. Uh, screwed down base, plastic base. Uh, made in China. The wheels are pretty nice. Not too bad on the uh, on the uh, the wheels. The wheels are not really quite the five spoke rounded uh, wheels like Land Rover but you know they're close they're five spokes at least uh, nice little rubber tires on there uh, free rolling these are not pullbacks or anything like that they're just free rolling models let's start with the front here um, oh very nice very nice they uh, have uh, the very nice uh, Land Rover correct uh, bull bars on there, push bars on the front, got Discovery on there, very nice. Lens details, got the uh, valances down below, doesn't have any extra lighting, but it does have holes or, or uh, spots for lighting, but uh, very nice there. Uh, get up to the hood here, the nice Land Rover, little bit high for the original one, the original one would have been down lower, but then you wouldn't have been able to see it with the Discovery Bull Bar there. Windshields, got some wipers on there, molded into the windshield, not bad. Uh, come around to the side, uh, obviously, Discovery. Uh, ES, wasn't it uh, SE? <laughs> I think that, <laughs> I want to believe that that's supposed to be an SE standard equipment. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, those look like decals painted right on there. Uh, you can't hardly even tell them. Uh, there's the uh, rubber uh, bump guard there, molded on there. It's got some nice sleek running guards, uh, step guards there with some mud flaps front and rear. Uh, very nice. Got the, this one is silver with black trim around the windows. Uh, yeah, pretty nice. No uh, foil or any kind of uh, on the back of the side mirror, but it's there. Pretty nice there. Come around to the back. Oh, isn't that nice? Look at that Land Rover Discovery on that. Pretty accurate as far as the rear hardcover from uh, Land Rover. That looks like an OEM deal. Uh, tail lights, they are there. They are kind of painted or decals not really too accurate there but it's really nice that that uh, rain uh, rail is all done up in black there uh, nice thing here is ba bam look at this it does uh, have an opening part yeah the rear hatch the rear door opens up pretty bare in there but uh, hey it's got a rear door no detailings on the inside really, but that's all right. It's got an opening feature part. Very nice, very nice. We'll come around to the, uh, well, this would be the driver's side. They are right hookers. Very nice, a lot of good details and stuff like that. Pretty accurate there. The bumpers 
were uh, very accurate. It's got the uh, spot, not detailed, but it does have spot for the markers. The double sunroof with the two Alpine windows on the sides, very nice. Very, very nice. This is a nice heavy model. Plastic base, but it is a metal top base or a metal uh, body here, and it's got some heft to it. This is a, a larger scale, uh, 143rd or bigger. Uh, very nice, like I say, very nice. Uh, no uh, uh, details or sticker, a uh, chrome sticker on the uh, side mirror again, but uh, very nice. That is a uh, die cast there. That's not a rubber insert. So uh, very nice, very nice. So that's the silver one I've got. Uh, I've only got three of these, uh, but uh, pretty, pretty nice. Let's take a look at the white one. And uh, boy, I thought for sure that that was an SE, but it might be ES. Oh man, my, I could hit on the head a lot. Cheese balls, how am I supposed to remember all that? <laughs> you know, that might be right. But uh, same basic thing, no uh, markings on the bottom except for what we read before, police patrol. Um, yeah, very nice roller, they're very, very good rollers. Uh, this one also has the uh, back opening part, maybe a little, see a little bit better in there. The, uh, uh, interesting enough that the, uh, there is a way up there in the front windshield, they do have the, uh, the uh, backup mirror, the uh, molded into the windshield there. Yeah, we can see it there. So that's kind of neat. Uh, white kind of shows up a little bit more, some of the details. And that's pretty nice, uh, the orange little side marker there. But uh, no real suspension to, to say up. Oh, they, they do bounce a little bit, but uh, that's probably just from the axles. No real suspension there. But yeah, the trim around the windows is a really nice touch. Something that, um, you know, you really don't uh, see a lot of. But very, very nice. Uh, like I said, I'm not really sure where I picked these up at. Um, I think that back in the day, Walgreens or something like that kind of sold them. Now this one, I, uh, I don't remember where it was. But I only paid $4 for it. Yeah, the tag is still on it. Let's take a look at this one, see if it was worth all of $4, huh? Yeah, not bad shape. All is good. I think it just kind of has a little wear here and there. Uh, but yeah, uh, very, very nice. Must have been an antique shop or something. A lot of times they've got to label everything that they have. Uh, so they get the money to the consignment uh, at the antique shop. So very, very nice. So I need your help, you guys. Do you know where these models came from? Um, are, have you seen these before? Uh, they're, they're very nice. They're heavy. I've got them all displayed. They're the same size as the King Smart and uh, RMZs. Uh, I'm sure that one of those companies or, or Welly uh, owned this casting at one time and somebody bought it and uh, has redone it, but these are older. I've had these in my collection for a while now and uh, just really kind of cool, really kind of cool. I like those a lot. Uh, and, and it helps that the Discovery is one of my uh, all-time uh, uh, favorite models. I Like I say, I've owned a couple of Discoveries in my day and Maybe I'll own another one. You never know, right? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. Make sure you go over to Facebook, Roverland, and uh, join me there. Join, Ask to join the Facebook group. Uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up here and subscribe. Uh, I think that might be over here. I don't know. Subscribe on this YouTube channel. Then Instagram. We also have an Instagram uh page over there uh account instagram roverland channel yeah so i hope you enjoyed that give me a comment give me a thumbs up give me an idea have you got these across the pond are these just an american thing or uh where did these come from do you have any idea all right that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this shout out to all you disco owners 
Yeah, boogie as it goes. <laughs> and as always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.